Hello, we are Bezel. Today, we are going to be showing off a few games from E3 2021. These games vary from competitive to visually stunning games, so be sure to check out our monitors down in the description below and pick out something that will suit you and your gaming needs. Alright, let's get started. First on the list is Far Cry 6. Do you understand now? This will be set in the fictional island of Yara, based off Cuba. You play as Danny Rojas, set out to defeat the corrupt dictator Anton Castillo, played by Giancarlo Esposito. You will fight with guerrilla warfare to liberate the people of Yara. Fucked up situations call for fucked up solutions. Hey, he's not here. If you expect the reinforcements, I got news for you. You're an army of one against an army of thousands. When shit gets real, we make use of whatever we have. We call that resolver. That means absolutely everything from sardine cans, goddamn batteries, Old motorcycle engines have been built into equipment. Said to be released on October 7, 2021 on all last-gen consoles and next-gen consoles as well as PC. Up next, Back for Blood. be honest with you guys when I say Back for Blood will be the closest thing we ever get to a Left 4 Dead 3. This follows everything that Left 4 Dead was and expands on it. From having Special Infected down to having Player vs Player, you just know that my friends and I will be playing this game on October 28, 2021 when it launches on all platforms. Number 3 on the list, Dying Light 2. This game is Hey everyone! We've been quiet for some time, since, like the rest of the world, we had some unforeseen hurdles to clear. But the wait is over. Let's dive into the open world of Dying Light 2. This game is set further into the future where humans are in the brink of extinction. In this game, narrative is given a bigger role compared to the first one. However, they did not give up on the parkour, into the combat, and everything in general, but you have to be sure about the decisions you make throughout this game because this will determine the future of humanity. This game is set to release on December 7 of 2021, so keep this on your radar. Up next, Battlefield 2042. We weren't given a lot off the trailers we did get. However, we do know that the player cap will increase. We do know about grappling hooks. We do know that they're going to go back to a modern setting, a more classic experience to the Battlefield franchise. And I'm all for that. Like putting C4 on an ATV and blowing up a helicopter. Who doesn't like that? Now, I do hope you guys get it along with me on October 22. 2021 on all platforms for our next game it is halo what infinite happened? where is cortana the rogue ai known as cortana is gone she's been deleted how by you of course not we don't have much to talk about in terms of story yet however the multiplayer is what looks to be drawing people in as they are embracing what classic halo was and they are turning that classic halo experience into a modern day halo with grappling hooks as well and just everything about it looks to be more competitive than what it used to be because the multiplayer is going to go free to play so don't miss out 
no exact release dates yet. However, keep an eye out on December of 2021. That's what we know so far. Next up on the list, we have The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. Now, we don't really have a lot to go off on here, but still, it's a good game, looks solid, the first game was great, a lot of people still play it to this day, I had a good experience when I tried it, so please keep your eyes on this if you are a Zelda fan, even if you aren't, just have a look at it, you won't regret it. For our last game, Elden Ring. Not much we know about Elden Ring, however, we did get a gameplay trailer. It did look sick, so even if you're not really into Dark Souls or any FromSoft games, still look out for this, look solid, and let's just be honest, come on, it looks good overall. With all those games ranging from competitive gameplay to visual wonders, I am sure you guys would love to play them to the best of your capabilities. One way is with a great monitor. Check out the link in the description to see Bezel's monitors, ranging from 244Hz displays all the way to 4K gaming monitors. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time. <laughs>